introducing Chords Pro from WA Production. When you're all out of ideas and need an injection of inspiration to kickstart your next track, reach for Chords Pro. This MIDI effect for Mac and PC will conjure chord shapes and progressions for your next hit. This upgraded engine is a sequel to the original chords, which generates looped options for up to 8 chords with full control over chord shape, inversions, velocity and more. Just like before, you can then drag the MIDI straight from the plugin to your project for full editing. With Chords Pro, try out new ideas in seconds with all new features, such as the Create randomization control. Choose brand new chord shapes with the 12 new chord types bringing the total to 30, and compare before and after with the new AB toggle. In this video I'll be showing the workflow of Chords Pro, including how to adjust global controls, per chord segment parameters and the new features and functions. This is a really visual plugin where everything is laid out intuitively, so it shouldn't take you long to get to grips with it, especially if you've already used chords. The layout is almost the same. So let's dive in. I'll start by showing off the features shared between the original Chords and Chords Pro, and later I'll look at the specific new features of Chords Pro. Firstly, Chords Pro is built on vector graphics and a resizable interface. Just drag the corner here to drag to your preferred size. I've placed Chords Pro as a MIDI plugin ahead of a simple synth organ patch, so you can clearly hear what's going on. Obviously, in your own projects, you can get Chords Pro to output MIDI to any kind of sound you like, from pads to keys. Let's have a quick listen to some of the included presets, accessible just here. Watch as the chords play back just like a clock face, from 12 o'clock around the circle. Essentially the interface has two windows, this is the global loop control view with editing controls for the entire loop, then you can click into these inner dots to access each individual chord shape, more on that in a sec. Taking this preset as an example, there are some basic length, speed and key controls on the interface, these apply to the whole loop. Let's up the speed to half a bar. and it's easy to change the root key. The length control defines the length of the loop. This inversion control is really fun. Use it to push up the lowest notes in an octave or push down the highest notes, turning the chords inside out. Have a listen. The other controls you need to know on this interface are the plus and minus controls, adding and subtracting chord segments. Just click between the chords here. You can have as few as one, or as many as eight. This new create control in the center is where you can ask Chords Pro to come up with chord shapes automatically. More on that later when I cover the differences between the original chords and the new Chords Pro. So onto the chords themselves, and this is where things start to get really interesting. Clicking these inner dots will open the chord for editing and also preview the chord. You'll see some similar controls here, most notably inversion, which can be changed. Don't forget that in this case the change applies to just a single chord. The overall velocity of the chord can be adjusted here.
The foundation of major and minor harmony are the major and minor scales. Chords are derived from those scales and are in the range of major and minor. And you can choose which type of chord plays just here. Major sounds brighter and happier. Minor sounds more melancholy and darker. These dots in the centre represent different complexity and tonal function of chord shapes. You don't really need to worry about chord theory, as that's working behind the scenes, but feel free to do some further research if you want to know more. All you really need to know is that in general, the dots towards the bottom are simpler chords, and as you rise up you'll get chords of more complexity that sound jazzier and more extended. You can actually see the chord symbol of the playing chord just here. The three lines of dots are S for subdominant, T for tonic, and D for dominant. Experiment for yourself and see what sounds good. So far you've mostly heard chords of three or four notes, but you can limit the number of notes played on each chord, or even turn a chord off completely. Each of these coloured bars represents a note. The innermost one indicates the lowest note, the outer one stands for the highest note. Clicking on one of these note lines mutes or unmutes the corresponding note. Don't forget that you can save your creations by clicking just here. A quick look now at how to get the MIDI into your door. It's really simple, just drag from the bottom of the interface straight into a MIDI track. Then you can edit the MIDI in the normal way, by transposing, chopping up the chords into smaller stabs, adjusting individual notes. Let's take a look at the specific upgrades that Chords Pro has over the original Chords. Although much of the functionality is the same, there are some major differences in features and functions that make Chords Pro an even more comprehensive tool for creating chord sequences. Starting with the chords themselves, Chords Pro has a total of 30 different chord types available for each segment. This is far more than the 18 of chords. This means that you can choose more interesting chord shapes with more options for transitions. Next, the new AB comparison section just here. This feature lets you toggle between two different chord loops so you can compare and contrast. There's an A and B section. Perhaps keeping a favourite chord sequence in play in the A slot. Whilst you experiment with different options in the B slot. You can also copy and paste between A and B by using these two arrows. Copy A to B, or B to A. Finally, one of the biggest features of Chords Pro, not available at all in Chords, the central Create button just here. This intelligent randomization option generates chord progressions based on the shape and style of previous chords in the sequence, or you can randomize the whole lot. Which segments the randomization affects is determined by the dots on the outside of the circle. If all dots are lit, then everything will be randomized. You can lock in chords at the beginning of the sequence so that they're not affected by randomization. Just click and deselect the dots from the first segment here in a clockwise direction. The 
the randomization is actually coming up with new chords based on the ones that already exist. Don't forget, if you want to exclude notes, just click the parts of the segment. Or adjust individual inversions for smoother transitions. So that's Chords Pro in a nutshell, a significant upgrade from the original chords and a really intuitive way to create chord progressions and generate MIDI for your own tracks. Use it for ideas and inspiration at the beginning of a project or just to help you out of a creative rut. For more information, check out the WA Production site or head to Plugin Boutique.